Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 548. Oxygen Hemoglobin Disassociation Curve. Why does the oxygen hemoglobin disassociation curve have a sigmoidal shape? The reason for the sigmoidal shape is due to the positive cooperativity. And the reason for this is because the tetrameric hemoglobin molecules can bind four oxygen molecules and has a higher affinity for each subsequent oxygen molecule bound, and therefore shows that sigmoidal curve. One additional thing to note here is that myoglobin is monomeric and thus does not show positive cooperativity and its curve is not sigmoidal. Describe what will cause the oxygen hemoglobin disassociation curve to shift to the right. The curve shifts to the right when you have decreased affinity of hemoglobin for oxygen. And when this happens, it facilitates unloading of oxygen to the tissues. What are all the factors that will cause the right shift of the oxygen hemoglobin disassociation curve? So as we said, the right shift of oxygen hemoglobin disassociation curve happens when your tissue has a greater need for oxygen. So the oxygen need for tissue increases when you have a high amount of carbon dioxide in a tissue. Also if there is high amount of 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate. Also when you're exercising, your body needs more oxygen. If your tissues become more acidic or if you're at a higher altitude. And also with high temperature, your body all requires increased amount of oxygen needing to be delivered. Now to understand this a bit better, let's think about when you're exercising. Now when you're exercising and working out a specific muscle, that muscle becomes hot. It also has a higher amount of carbon dioxide there and it also becomes acidic. So it makes sense that when you're exercising, these are the signals that your body will recognize and cause that right shift of the disassociation curve to deliver more oxygen to that area. What is the mnemonic to help you remember all the factors that will cause the oxygen hemoglobin disassociation curve to shift to the right? The mnemonic is to remember CB. The C stands for increase in carbon dioxide. B stands for bisphosphoglycerate, so that's for 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate. E is for increase in exercise. A is for the tissue being more acidic or increase in altitude. And the T is for the increase in temperature. So these are all the signals that will cause delivery of oxygen to the tissues. Now one additional thing I would like to mention here is that we mentioned all these factors earlier in the chapter when we said that all these factors are what stabilizes the T form or the tot form of hemoglobin and that tot form of hemoglobin is what unloads the oxygen at the tissues. What does the right shift in the oxygen hemoglobin disassociation curve indicate? A right shift indicates there is an increased affinity for hemoglobin for oxygen. Therefore, there is a decrease in unloading of oxygen to the tissues. What are all the factors that would cause the left shift of oxygen hemoglobin disassociation curve? The left shift occurs when the hemoglobin does not want to let go of the oxygen that it has. And this happens when you have a decrease in the amount of carbon dioxide in the tissue. Because if you have low amount of carbon dioxide in the tissue, that means you don't need oxygen. So therefore, it's not going to get unloaded there. Also, if you're resting or are hypothermic, you would need more oxygen. So basically anything that just leads to a higher affinity for hemoglobin for oxygen will cause the shift to happen to the left. One additional side note that I would like to mention here is we talked about fetal hemoglobin and how it has a higher affinity for oxygen than adult hemoglobin. So therefore fetal hemoglobin also causes the disassociation curve to shift to the left. Describe what happens to the oxygen hemoglobin disassociation curve in case of carbon monoxide poisoning. In carbon monoxide poisoning, the hemoglobin has a decreased oxygen binding capacity because the spaces where oxygen would normally bind has been taken over by carbon monoxide. So therefore, there is a decrease in that oxygen binding capacity, which makes it seem like there is not enough hemoglobin available for the oxygen to bind, and therefore this causes a left shift of the oxygen hemoglobin disassociation curve. Also with carbon monoxide poisoning, the hemoglobin is bound to carbon monoxide instead of oxygen. So because of this, the delivery of oxygen to the tissue is also decreased. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.